Hey, what up, this is Margaret. So today I'm going to be talking about VMaker is a screen and webcam recorder. And I'm excited to talk about this because it seems to be much more powerful than Barricast, which is what I have always been using. Um, and they have already re um, just recently released a Windows desktop app, right? So that makes it even better for Windows user because previously we all had to use the Chrome extension for screen recording. But now with the Windows desktop app, I think that VMaker's uh, VMaker itself is getting a lot more powerful, right? So, but before I dive into VMaker, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content, right? So here we go. So the thing about VMaker is that um, I, I I'm not really sure about how I'm going to be how is going to kind of show up in. Uh, <coughs> you know the the recording of you know how to actually use it because i'm actually recording the screen of using a screen recorder right? so that's kind of uh like uh that's that's kind of complex right here so i'm just going to try my best so uh so just so right now they have these features which is screen recording and then they've got webcam so webcam is not available yet so screen means you're just recording the screen itself uh, and then you can record the a window okay so you can pick a window uh, that you're you know one of the browser that you want to be using uh, the browser windows that you want to be using okay and you can also do a custom size so you just kind of record in an area and then webcam itself is not available yet and then you've got webcam and the screen itself right and you have schedule so schedule will be very very nice um, so what happens I guess you keep your computer turned on and it's going to record on its own right so I'm, I'm just going to try and uh check out how the uh you know the schedule recorder works so oh so um so it seems like it it is they are going to be adding this as well which is to automatically transcribe your videos that's very powerful as well uh, uh screen annotation uh let me just try and search for schedule okay so so Because I've never actually come across something that allows me to schedule a recording unless it's one of those bots, bot recorders, right, that, that can do that. Because it, it so use scheduler to set automatic recording when you're not available right so i think that's what it does it it just kind of pops up when you need to record <coughs> let me see so video scheduler remaker okay so there you go right so this is the support article which what i was looking for so click on the vmaker app on your and sign in and set the date and time must be at least 10 minutes okay <coughs> Okay, your recording will be your recording will be successfully scheduled and the confirmation will be sent to your email. You can change the recording time or cancel the recording by clicking the schedule recording option inside the app. Okay. So I am pretty sure that you would have to uh you would have to keep it turned on otherwise it will not work 
Okay, so just let me jump into my email and see if I re receive. Okay, so it's... Hi, this is Max, your personal scheduling assistance from vmega okay this is a confirmation that your recording has been set scheduled at this time i will start the recording automatically at the scheduled time for you if you wish to cancel or update click on the link below okay so it doesn't say much but i am very sure that you would have to keep your computer turned on right because this is a desktop app itself uh okay so but of course if it can record a particular um like link or whatever it is um i think that will be very powerful um i don't think that this is possible right now i'm just going to cancel that okay so i'm just going going to record my screen and webcam let's see how it goes okay so we got the countdown right here and now it starts recording right so so one thing is the camera is not working uh let me just try and thumb this first cancel recording okay okay so let me just turn on my virtual camera from uh you know obs right here okay so you can see my camera right here So I'm just going to click on start recording. Okay, so there we go. Right? So this is my s camera right here. Okay, and let's see what I can do with this. Okay, I can make it larger. I can make it in the center. Okay, so I'm bringing it back to normal size and oops, I closed it. Is there any way to bring it back up? Okay, we'll get to that later, but I can annotate on my screen right here. Right, and then I can change the size as well. Right, I can make it smaller. But these are the colors that I can choose from, right? So there's no custom colors in here. Okay, and then I can turn on or turn off my microphone as I want to. Okay, so I'm just going to cancel the recording again. Try and bring it back up for the webcam. Okay, so there is a virtual background kind of stuff right here. Okay, so cool. Um, I can actually have a virtual background. I can have frames as well. So, you know, I can pick a frame. But I think I have to choose it before I start recording, right? So, because once I start recording, it is not possible to change it, right? So, there we go. Uh, we can't change that. Okay. So, I'm going to, you know, thumb the recording again. Uh, let's check out like what I can do with this right so background wise I can have I can remove the background I can okay maybe I got to put in my camera it's not maybe showing up that's why it's not working so well okay so so now I can blur my background I can remove the background. I can upload my own background. You can see it looks a little weird, uh, but okay, so it looks a little weird. I'm just going to move this over here. So it looks a little weird, uh, but it's uh, it's it's blurring, right? And then, you know, I have it remove the background. So it's, you know, it's, it's definitely looking weird for sure. So, uh, one thing about the camera is that it's flipped. So, I'm just going to see if I can have it in the right direction that I want. So, no, it's not possible. Okay, so it's not possible. <laughs> to have the automatic 
uh, sorry to flip the camera so it's always on the opposite side right so it's really just meant for you to um, unless I can switch it around right so nope it's not possible okay all right so let's jump back in here because I can put my own background in here right so they've got some custom ones in here already and uh, you can put frames on top of it as well okay and you can put text on some of them so that's very nice in fact I feel that they should make this into a streaming app as well so it makes it a lot easier to kind of create your own stream right so I can put my own name in here okay but I can only choose okay I can choose colors so if I want blue on this I want white here so yeah but I can't change the font size okay right so that's a very nice uh, feature in here and I guess that's all we have to share about vMaker right so uh, once again I think that they, they do have some very nice features that are coming up one is the automatic transcription right and then there is a easy collaboration so that means they will have a editing uh, <coughs> kind of feature so let me just try and record this for a while and see you know just um, you know so they've got character builder and animation right so this is this looks amazing so that means you can actually put in uh, characters into your videos and create a you know like a nice video you can put in voiceovers and slides in there so this is definitely very powerful okay and you can have it to work on show as well I think these are all very nice features definitely so uh, yep so I guess that's all I have to share about the uh, vMaker but before I do that let me just end the recording so it's going to be uploading into vMaker itself right here so you will take a while okay so it's uploading so now the oh, video is uploaded yeah. so they've got character okay, builder so just kind of pause this right here so what can I do with this okay so the first thing is timer so what does the timer do okay not really sure what that does but I can edit the video I can edit the video instantly okay so we get into a editor screen right here I can add more videos right so I can add music so that's not possible yet but uh, what I can do is I can add more videos uh, I can you know record multiple ones and kind of stitch them together uh, so that's that's what I can do right now but they do have plans to put in characters you have plans to put in uh, voiceovers and all that so that makes this very very powerful right so i guess that's all i have to share about v maker it's definitely looking very powerful um if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about v maker in the comments below lastly if you know anyone who could benefit from v maker be sure to share this video with them last and uh, i'll see you in my next video bye bye